Yo guys, what's poppin'? It's time for shopping. Back at it with another Modern Warfare Franchise Store video. This one's gonna be for August 18th. It is Tuesday. New featured stuff, so that is always exciting. So with that being said, I know there's gonna be a lot more of you here today. We're gonna set a like goal of 100 likes. Make sure you guys smash that. You guys smashed it last time. I know you guys will go above and beyond that, but let's hit 100. I know you guys can do it. Make sure you drop the like on the video here today. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you are, man. I do these shop videos all the time. Make sure sure all the new content gets to you guys as soon as possible so if you subscribe it helps you and it helps me all right guys let's just hop right into it man we got the velkin operator bundle so here is the megalith velkin skin this thing looks sick this was in the trailer for season five i know a lot of people are also waiting on that gilly ghost skin but i think this one looks sick looks just mean disgusting terrifying whatever you want to say for it it looks dope and uh, I, like, I like the little armor plate action going on here. Protecting the boys. I like that. That's cool. We got Trencher. This is going to be for the Brunin right after it gets nerfed. They did this with the Grog, too, last time. That's scumbag moves, man. XRK Summit, the Longest Barrel, Tack Laser, the Hollow Sight, Bipod, and Frangible Wounding. I'm going to be honest. Take that Bipod off. Put a different perk on or just take the perk off. Probably just, you know, some sort of grip, some sort of under barrel. It's not necessary. You could actually go with a monolithic suppressor and no under barrel and then use the 60 round magazine. Do whatever you want. But, um, you know, the main thing about this one right here is dismemberment and shadow tracers. If you guys haven't seen the shadow tracers yet, I believe the AN94 at tier 100 in the battle pass has those shadow tracers. They look sick. You can use this gun in Warzone in pregame lobbies, I think, as well. So, you can have a little taste with it, but it's super cool. And uh, this is definitely one I think I would pick up. The Brunin, at the end of the day, is still very, very good, even though it got a small range nerf. So I definitely would recommend picking this one up. Moving on, we have Excavator. We have the Shadow Tracers. And then the uh, there's a little note here. The Tracer effect for this weapon will be removed in any favor of like Dragon's Breath or anything. So if you put a different round like Dragon's Breath in here, that Tracer effect will be removed. And then you'll have like, you know, the Dragon's Breath Flame coming out of your shotgun instead. This is for the 680. And uh, it also has dismemberment. You got the Breacher Device, the Swap Barrel, the 5 milliwatt Laser, the Ultralight and Sleight of Hand. This is a super close quarter shotgun. Uh, it does not have the Sport Barrel. It does not have a Choke or the Marauder Suppressor. It doesn't really have any ads it's just something in a really really tight corner you hit fire hopefully you get the kill so that's pretty much the story behind this both skins cosmetically i think they look great i love the all blacked out with whatever design they got on there it looks super sick kind of sticks with that shadow company looks dope evil intentions that just sounds terrifying uh vehicle horn you guys know the drill man i don't play those just in case take a bow a little bit longer of a finishing move. There's some really long ones in the game, man. It does. Uh, if The shorter your finishing move, the quicker you get the kill. That is a thing, if you guys didn't know. Then we have the Sullen Vehicle Skin for the ATV. Masked out. Let's see if we can get a better view on that. A little bit. Not much. Shadow Dweller. That looks pretty cool. Then we have Pay and Blood. So that is going to be the new operator bundle for 2400 I, Honestly, I think it's pretty cool, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think this is a must-buy. And typically, I don't say that with the operator bundles. Usually, I'll find something wrong with them. I can't really find anything wrong with this. The Brunin's a great gun. The attachments were nice. The Shadow Tracers are dope. The skin's dope. Uh, the shotgun's basically just an added bonus. You're basically paying for that Brunin because it is just so insane. Everything else is just a bonus to me. We have Tamagunchi Turbo, man. Tamagunchi Ever since it leaked that first time, a lot of you guys were... I was the only one with a video on it, man. I was, like, the only person who picked it up. And uh, ever since then, we originally did get the Tamagunchi, and then we had one in the Battle Pass. But now we have the Tamagunchi Turbo for 1,200 cob points. Let's see what this is all about. Grow your pet during matches by completing challenges to unlock corresponding pet charms. Make sure you keep your... Scroll, please. Tamagunchi good and fed. So I'm assuming instead of kills, you do challenges now, which is actually pretty cool. Um, the watch looks clean. I think it looks a lot better than the original Tamagunchi watch. And this one looks a lot more just clear and, you know, vibrant. It looks very, very nice. Um, so, okay. So here is all the charms, I think. 14. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of cosmetic items for 12 bucks. Like, I would probably pull the trigger on this if you guys like the original Tamagunchi. That's a lot of charms, man. Kind of just reminds me of, like, Fall Guys characters in a way. Speaking of Fall Guys... And just Modern Warfare. If you guys aren't following me on TikTok, man, 
I've had some clips kind of going, you know, doing well. You getting 5,000 views here and there. Make sure you're following the TikTok, Aces underscore gaming. You know, shameless plug. Moving on still. We got some stickers here. Stickers and emblems. We'll run through them pretty quick. This is 1,200, man. I, honestly, if you're not picking this one up, um, you know, it's cool. But I think you're missing out. I think this one's pretty darn cool. The quality on this LCD screen that they got going on here with this Tamagunshi looks a lot better. And I'm not exactly sure what's going on with these charms. If, you know, it says charms are unlocked via in-game challenges. So I'm not sure if you can actually put these on your weapon or if this is something to do with, like, your character in here. I don't know, man, but I think this one's a really good deal. You know, we're talking 19 cosmetic items total. That's a lot. So that one, I think, is a definite pickup. We have Iskra coming back into the featured section. Uh, we're going to run through this one very quick. We've I've made so many videos on this bundle because everybody was so excited for it. And then I feel like it really died down. Like, as soon as it came out, it's just like no one wanted it. I mean, some people bought it, but I feel like this one was really overhyped. Once again, 2400 for the Operator bundles. Like, the one that just came out so much better than this one. Tactical Human. I've seen this one a bunch of times. A lot of stuff did come through. We do have another brand new bundle, so do not go anywhere. Moving right along, Fate and Fortune back. This is the one with the, um, it's like a fortune teller. So, will Aces Gaming get 25, okay, yo, you're cheating, watch, you're cheating. Will Aces Gaming get 25,000 subs by 2021? It's not gonna happen, you know? Shake it. Shake. Doubtful. Exactly. It's smarter than you think, guys. It is smarter than you think. 800 cob points for that one. It's honestly pretty cool, man. Um, and then we got Pyromaniac with the flaming throwing knife coming back. This one's actually really dope. It's a cool looking skin. And you got the VLK with the dragon's breath. Flaming throwing knife. A lot of people like actually using these in Warzone. I saw a clip, too, that if you throw one of these flaming throwing knives on a uh, weapon drop, it, like, shoots up in the air. I don't know if that's, like, a known bug or something or if it's just a one-time thing, but it was a pretty funny clip. But uh, we got Crick in the Neck. 1800 for this one. Honestly, not bad. I think the flaming throwing knife is pretty darn cool, but uh, I probably won't be picking it up. Moving on, we got a new bundle right here, Weekend Chillin'. Ooh, these look sick. Okay, we have Confession, Confection, Confection, not Confession. 725 with the Sawed Off. We got the Merc Foregrip, Forge Tack Commander, the Cronin, and the Tempest Sport. I gotta be honest, I would probably take the Sight Off, the Stock Off, put a No Stock Attachment on, put the 5 milliwatt Laser. It's gonna be insane. Do not sleep on the 725 with the Sawed Off, with the No Stock and the 5 milliwatt. It's so good. Don't sleep on it. Cosmetically, it kind of looks a little, little blurry. I don't know if it's supposed to look like that. Just It doesn't look like full quality, if that makes any sense. I don't know about that. We have a sweet spot for the AUG. This one kind of has that same effect. It just kind of looks dull in a way. Compensator, tactical foregrip. I don't even know why they put the tactical foregrip on these guns, man. It's so bad. Viper reflex and the F-TAC ultra light hollow. Honestly, attachment-wise, that is just garbage. Just complete garbage on the AUG. Hand of Fate and Joint Ops. 1300 for that one. That's a little steep in my opinion, man. I mean, you're much better off going with the Tom Gunchy rather than a 1300 bundle with two crappy weapons that you're probably never going to use, you know. So, that's my opinion. And then we have the... I can I don't even know how to say that, but once again, another AUG. Now, these ones look sick. I think these ones are super cool. I said this when these first came out. Very, very similar attachments here. Lightweight Suppressor, Tactical Foregrip, the Viper, and Fully Loaded. And then you have Splash Guard. Once again, a Shotgun and an AUG. It's really weird. How they're pairing those two up. The XRK Liberator, the 1 milliwatt laser, the FTAC Stalker, and Wounding. You know, this is one we've seen once before, maybe twice. So, you know, if you if you don't have this one, you like it, I pick it up. It's one of the more uncommon ones. And then we have the Explorer. We've seen this one a good bit for the uh, 725 as well. Looks pretty cool, but I don't know if I would run with this. So, guys, that's a 1,000 on that one. That's all I got. My Just For You section isn't really having anything super crazy in there but make sure you guys are picking up this operator man if i gotta be honest i think it's totally worth it 100 i know it's towards the end of the game so maybe one of your last purchases here on modern warfare depending on how 
year two of Modern Warfare goes. I've heard there's not going to be a season six, so we will just have to wait and see how things go. But if you enjoyed the video here today, be sure to slap a like on it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. Like I said, we have a ton of Modern Warfare content. Make sure you check out my TikTok, Aces underscore gaming. Tons of clips over there. Sometimes we only get one upload here on the channel, but you might get three to five clips on TikTok. So a lot more content from me. And uh, make sure you're checking out my sponsor, Jerky XP. They're the main sponsor here on the channel. And uh, make sure you use code ACES at checkout. Whether you need some beef jerky, beef sticks, popcorn, they got a ton of stuff over there. Great stuff, so make sure you check them out. And um, yeah, share the rest of the sponsors and all my equipment and my entire gaming setup in the description. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. And I'm out.